Hi, this is Steve, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a ClickMagic tracking link in Google AdWords. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about how to set up tracking links with AdWords since they introduced upgraded URLs, but it's actually quite simple to do. Let me go ahead and show you how. For this example, I'm going to create a Google AdWords ad for a book called Writing Solid Code. You can see the tracking link I've created for it right here. And as you can see, there's nothing fancy going on. The primary URL just points to writingsolidcode.com. So when people click on the tracking link, it goes right to that website. Now to create our AdWords ad, we'll need this tracking link. So let's go ahead and copy it right now. Next, let's go to Google AdWords. I have that open in a tab right up here. Here you see that I've already created the ad. Let's go ahead and edit it so we can add the tracking link. Here's the final URL. This is the URL where the user is going to finally end up. It's not your tracking link, so you want to be careful there. This is the primary headline, the secondary headline, and the description. You can see it all together right over here. Now to add your tracking link, you click right here where it says Add URL Options. But before we do that, let's click on the Help icon. You can see that it says URL options help you manage any tracking information for your ads. So let's click on the link, and now you see the tracking template. This is where you need to paste in the ClickMagic tracking link, so let's go ahead and do that. Now that's all you need to do in AdWords to set up a tracking link with ClickMagic. You could save at this point and you'd be done. It's really that simple. Just copy the ClickMagic tracking link and paste it into the AdWords tracking template. But while we're here, let me show you how you can add special AdWords parameters to your tracking links to give you valuable data that you can use to improve your ad campaigns. To find a list of these parameters, Google has a help page. I've got it open already in a tab right up here. Here you can see the list of parameters that you can use with your tracking links. Now this page is hard to find, so when you need it, just Google value track parameters and it'll pop right up for you. If you're new to AdWords, let me show you a parameter that you'll want to use right away. It's keyword. This tells you which keyword in your ad best matched what the user searched for. So let's go ahead and copy it and I'll show you how to use it with your tracking link. Now let's go back to our ad. To add the keyword parameter to our tracking link, we simply use a ClickMagic sub-ID. To set the first sub-ID of this link, you simply add a slash to the end of the tracking link, followed by the parameter we just copied. So let's add the slash and paste in the parameter. You can set up a total of five sub-IDs using this approach. Just add an additional slash and parameter for each one. Now ClickMagic makes it very easy to examine the first sub-ID, so it's often useful to simply specify all of your AdWord parameters in the first position separated by a symbol such as a dash. For example, if you wanted to use both the keyword parameter and the match type parameter, you would add a dash, then add match type. This is all you need to know to set up a ClickMagic tracking link with AdWords. So before we save the ad with the tracking link, let's test it by clicking on the test button. Okay, it says it found the landing page, so it looks like we set it up properly. Okay, let's save and go back to ClickMagic to check the stats. The test should have generated a click. The first thing we need to do is refresh the stats to confirm that the test worked correctly. So let's click the refresh button. And you can see that the total click and unique click columns are now both showing a click. To test that AdWords is properly passing the keyword parameter to ClickMagic, we need to click on the ad after doing an actual Google search. But since we just modified the ad, we need to wait until AdWords has approved the change. So let's go back to AdWords and click refresh to see if the ad has been approved yet. Okay, the ad has not been approved yet. Usually this takes less than half an hour, but sometimes it can take more than a day. It really just depends upon your ad and whether you've just modified an existing one or created a new one. So let's go ahead and pause the video until the ad has been approved. Okay, the ad's now been approved. So let's go do a Google search for the book. In the search box, I'm just going to enter the name of the book, Writing Solid Code, and click Search. Here are the results, and right here at the very top, you can see our paid ad. So let's click on it. 
There we go, the page pulled up. So our tracking link should have registered the click along with the keyword that caused AdWords to show the ad. So let's go back to Click Magic and take a look. We can see that the stats currently show one click each, so let's hit refresh and update the counters. Now you can see that we have two total clicks and two unique clicks. To see the keyword data that AdWords passed to the tracking link as sub ID 1, all you need to do is click on the number in the TC column. Here are the sub IDs for the two clicks. The first one shows none, that was when we clicked the test button in AdWords. The second shows writing solid code, which is the keyword in the ad that matched our actual Google search. By analyzing this keyword data over time, you can truly fine tune your online marketing strategy. So with that, we've got everything set up correctly and we're ready to turn on traffic. So to recap this video, setting up your tracking link with AdWords is as simple as copying your tracking link, pasting it into the tracking template edit box for the ad, and then adding value track parameters to the end of the tracking link using a slash followed by the parameter setting. Now, if you read AdWords documentation, it might seem much more complicated than this, but it really isn't. It's just a simple copy and paste and you're all set up. Just be sure that you're setting up the tracking template in the ad itself, as I've shown you here, and not at the account or campaign levels where you can run into trouble. So that's pretty much it. This is Steve with ClickMagic. If you have any questions, just contact us at our help desk. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.